Born in the province of Madras in the year of the First World War, to a father who didn't think Brahmins always succeed, and a mother who didn't see caste or creed, her father's education led to her mother's emancipation, which laid the perfect foundation for the genius of her generation. Why can't I play with that little girl? She is an untouchable. What's an untouchable? If you touch her, you go blind and lose all your hair. You see, nothing happened, and I knew nothing would happen. For a lioness who wouldn't retreat, the sickle and hammer did come in as a treat. Stars aligned when she met Suhasini Nambiar, a freedom fighter and communist leader. Lakshmi pledged to a new liberation, to break poverty, injustice, and discrimination. At 14, she collected 3,000 rupees to help Bhagat Singh. Gandhiji's opposition did give her a little sting. I wanted to be a doctor so that I could help the needy and poor. A free nation needs doctors that can serve its people. So I finished my graduation at Madras Medical College. But I didn't want to help the British to kill more people by joining their army. So I left. She left to Singapore to do her post-graduation away from the changes in her mother nation. Although her agendas changed when the British faced Japan's rage. Soon after, the Indian National Army was born to surgically remove the Royal British Fawn. Lakshmi, I have a request that I have to ask of you. Tell me, Netaji, how can I be of service for our cause? The freedom of our country is not just for men, but for women as well. I want you to captain an all-women army regiment, call it the Ronnie of John C. Regiment. Yes, I would be honoured to be of service. A step to the right, a step to the left, an army of women trained equally as men. A step to the right, a step to the left, marched right into Burma's den. A step to the right, a step to the left, they fought to their heart's content. A step to the right, a step to the left, Manipur, Arakan, no stopping them. A step to the right, a step to the left. Disease spread in her army tents. A step to the right, a step to the left. She was caught, but their fight didn't end. One night at camp, I woke up to a gun pointing at my head. It was a Japanese soldier. I tried to explain to him that I was from the INA, but he didn't understand a word of English. He tied me to a tree, just like the rest of my comrades. I thought my day had come. But turns out, the other Japanese soldiers recognized me from my picture in the paper standing next to Netaji. Oh, thank God for the newspaper. And my uniform. 1946. She was sent back to her motherland, where our people lent her a hand. A catalyst for the end of the colonial rule. She wasn't done yet. Get back on that stool. She set up relief camps in Calcutta, co-founded the All India Women's Association, led a medical team during the Bhopal gas tragedy, worked towards restoring peace in Kanpur. She was the presidential opponent for Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam. And last, but definitely not the least, she saw her patients regularly until the age of 92. A lady who outlived most of our freedom fighters, but carried their spirit in her heart till her very last breath. Captain Dr. Lakshmi Segal, proved to be a woman of great calibre, unparalleled intelligence and the utmost tenacity.